بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ریسپیکٹڈ آل السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ آئی ویلکم یو آل آن بہاف آف علم و عرفان انسٹیٹیوٹ دا مشن آف آر انسٹیٹیوٹ از ایز فالوز اکارڈنگ ٹو ریسرچ لائف از ایکول ٹو ففٹین پرسینٹ ٹیکنیکل اسکلس پلس ایٹی فائیو پرسینٹ ہیومن انجینئرنگ therefore at ilmo irfan institute our aim is learn to achieve excellence in any technical skill by following the best learning methodology that is do it yourself and practicing the three main pillars of human engineering that are truth honesty and justice to achieve excellence in both technical skills and human engineering ilmo irfan offers a free book introduction to python this is the introductory lecture about the book and i am your instructor samavi salman let's start with the lecture outline first i will present a brief introduction of authors of the book after that i will present book aims book learning outcomes and book contents finally in the last part of this lecture i will discuss book development and teaching methodology one of the primary goals of this book is learn to smile and appreciate our beloved prophet Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said to the nearest meaning your smiling in the face of your brother is charity Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is role model for us in all fields of life therefore we should practice this sunnah and always try to keep smile on our faces recalling the equation from the previous slide that is life is equal to 15% technical skills plus 85% human engineering now i will present a brief introduction of authors of the book both in terms of technical skills and human engineering let me introduce myself my name is samavi salman and i hold bachelor's degree in software engineering from Comsats University Islamabad Lahore campus Pakistan I'm working as a volunteer teacher and researcher at Ilmo Irfan Institute Lahore Pakistan from last 3 years I'm also a member of Natural Language Processing Research Group at Comsats University Islamabad Lahore campus Pakistan Dr Rao Mohammad Adil Nawab is the co-author of this book Dr Adil holds a PhD degree in computer science from University of Sheffield UK Currently he is working as assistant professor at Comsats University Islamabad Lahore campus He is also leading the NLP research group at Comsats University Islamabad Lahore campus Pakistan The human engineering skills of Dr. Adi are as follows He has spent more than 19 years in sohbat of Ahle Allah He has more than 5 years experience of delivering motivational seminars He has more than 8 years experience of leading the NLP research group Technical skills of Dr. Adi are as follows teaching and research He has more than 16 years experience of teaching and research at university level. His publications include 53 international publications, 7 books, 1 course, 24 impact factor journal papers, 21 international conference and workshop papers. If I discuss Dr. Adil's profile in terms of supervision five students have successfully completed phd under his supervision 
and 4 hour under supervision. More than 70 students have successfully completed MPhil thesis and 2 are under supervision. On Google Scholar, his citations are 544 with an age index of 14. This is the faculty profile of Dr. Adib. The research profile of Dr. Adib. After discussing introduction to authors, let's move to the second part of this lecture, that is, book aims, book learning outcomes, and book contents. An important question is, why learn Python? The possible answer to this question is, Python is free, open source, easy to learn, and fun to use. The most important one is that, Python is the fastest growing programming language and it is among the top three programming languages of the world. Python has extensive online documentation and community support. Python is the second highest paid programming language of the world. Python is secure thanks to OWASP Python Security Project and flexible. That is, it has a huge number of general and application specific libraries and frameworks. Python is commonly and widely used in many fields including artificial intelligence, machine learning, natural language processing, data science, data analytics and data visualization, cyber security, Web development, scientific and mathematical computing, system automation and administration, finance and trading, game development, security and penetration testing, journal and application specific scripting, mapping and geography, computer graphics, and many more. The main focus of the book is learn how to plan, design and develop high quality softwares using Python to, to solve real world problems. The main aim of the book are as follows. The first aim is introduce how to achieve excellence in both technical skills and human engineering to become a balanced and correctable person. Number two, introduce how to tell an interesting, connected and coherent story in a book. Number three, introduce how to plan, design, write and test or debug softwares using a template-based approach. Number four, introduce Core concepts of Python programming language, including constants, variables, pseudocode, flowcharts, conditionals, loops, functions, data structure, file handling, exception handling, software testing, and software debugging. The fifth aim is introduce how to execute software lifecycle to completely and correctly develop high quality softwares using Python programming language. Inshallah, by the end of this book, a participant should be able to Number 1. Live and enjoy the blessings of a balanced and correctable life by putting 100% effort with sincerity on daily basis to achieve excellence in both technical skills and human engineering. Number 2. Plan, design and develop high quality softwares using a template-based approach. Number three, completely and correctly understand core concepts of Python programming and how they work together to build high quality softwares. Number four, understand how to solve real world problems using Python programming language by completely and correctly executing the software lifecycle. Number five, 
understand how the following approaches can be used to efficiently solve both real world problems and python programming problems including systematic thinking approach identifying most suitable solution approach completeness and correctness approach divide and conquer approach half booked approach structured thinking approach inverted triangle approach and 100% effort with sincerity approach to successfully achieve all the book aims and book learning outcomes please do all the to do task and your turn task on time with truth honesty and justice the book is fundamentally divided into 36 chapters this book is fundamentally divided into 36 chapters the first part is introduction in introduction inshallah i will present three chapters chapter 1 introduction to authors and book chapter 2 basics of computer chapter 3 basics of programming in the second part basics of python i will present five chapters chapter 4 basics of python chapter 5 constants in python chapter 6 variables in python chapter 7 operators and expressions in python chapter 8 plan and design a python program using flowcharts in the third part software life cycle i will present six chapters chapter 9 best coding practices in python chapter 10 exception handling in python chapter 11 software testing chapter 12 software debugging chapter 13 deployment of software on client machine chapter 14 software life cycle in the fourth part selection structures for the cn making i will present five chapters chapter 15 selection structures for decision making chapter 16 if selection structure chapter 17 if else selection structure chapter 18 if elif selection structure chapter 19 nested selection structures in the fifth part repetition structure i will present four chapters chapter 20 repetition structures in python chapter 21 while repetition structure chapter 22 for repetition structure chapter 23 break and continue statements in the sixth part functions i will present four chapters chapter 24 functions chapter 25 a step by step example to write functions part 1 chapter 26 a step by step example to write functions part 2 Chapter twenty seven, a step by step example to write functions, part three. In the seventh part, I will present eight chapters that are chapter twenty eight, basics of data structure, chapter twenty nine, arrays, chapter thirty, strings, chapter thirty one, list, chapter thirty two, tuples, chapter thirty three, sets, chapter thirty four, dictionary, check chapter thirty five, file handling. and finally in the last part i will present one chapter that is chapter 36 book main findings conclusion and future work the target audience of the book is all male and female candidates interested in python programming language after discussing book aims book learning outcomes and book contents inshallah now i will present the last part of this lecture that is book development and teaching methodology the main aim is to tell a connected and coherent story using a simple to complex step by step approach using this approach the book is planned designed and developed by following the three step process in the first step instructor will deliver a chapter 
In the chapter, instructor will explain concepts using detailed and self-explanatory example. Therefore, in the first step, 100% work is done by the instructor. In step 2, the instructor will give to-do tasks to students which will be similar to the examples taught by the instructor in this chapter. The student will solve the to-do task using their own knowledge and the concepts taught in the chapter. Therefore, 50% work is done by instructor and 50% of work is done by students. After completing to-do tasks given in step 2, student will move to step 3. In this step, students will find out real-world tasks similar to to-do tasks. In this step, student will found in this step, student will find out real-world tasks similar to to-do tasks and find out for selected real-world tasks. Therefore, hundred percent work is done by students. It is important to note that. To do task and your turn task given in this book will serve as assignments for students. The book will be taught using half cooked approach, that is, 50% of the work will be done by instructor and 50% of work will be done by students. In this way, both teacher and students will be putting 100% effort with sincerity to achieve excellence in both technical skills and human engineering. Our Python book along with supporting material, data and code can be freely downloaded from our website Elmo Irfan using the following URL given, give, using the following URL given in this slide. Book is free of cost, but it is humbly requested to please at least teach one person after taking this course and request him or her to do the same. After discussing book development in teaching methodology, now let's move to lecture summary. To summarize this lecture, I presented number one a brief overview of the instructor of the book number two book aims book learning outcomes and book contents number three book development and teaching methodology in the next lecture inshallah in the next lecture I will present a step-by-step -step process to download Python in Windows operating system. We shall be thankful to you if you may please provide. We shall be thankful to you if you may please provide your valuable feedback on this on this lecture. Jazakallah khair. May Allah bless all of us with His afiyat and karam, both in the world and hereafter. Amin. السلام علیکم و رحمت اللہ و برکاتہ